So unscripted time. Many of you know I'm a soldier. I've joined in 1991 and I've been in ever since. It's a big part of my identity. It's a big part of my brand. Today is Remembrance Day in Canada, and I'm pretty sure it's elsewhere in the world that something very similar happens. It's important to remember what was sacrificed in the past, because that's what allows us to live the way we do. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. On the 11th of November, CIG posted Inside Star Citizen about the future of space combat, something I really like and I am very interested in. We got a chance to hear from the space combat team who are invested in the current aspects of space combat. Here's what you need to know about the show. Yogi spent some time preceding the video by saying that the aim of the segment was to talk about where we are, what isn't working, what is working, and where they're thinking about taking us in the future. They took a look at all of the past versions and how dogfighting behaved, which is important. They hired real pilots to show the team how fighting works. They came up with some core tasks. They wanted to provide us meaningful decision making through offering a wide set of options by giving the player all the information that they need to decide properly. And next they wanted to mix up the weapons such that each offers some unique features or benefits which will force our choice and this needs to be taken very seriously. You can choose to take weapon X expecting for a certain type of mission but perhaps things change on the way and then you have to deal with that choice and fight through the adversity because you're not properly equipped for what actually happened. Which could be fantastic or really piss people off, right? Anyways, there is no best or everything gun or component. They want to remove meta. Ships, weapons, components, everything is broken down into clear types with advantages and disadvantages in certain categories. They simplified weapons into two categories, anti-fighter and anti-large ship, and this will be expanded in the future. They reworked shields and have added capacitors. This larger set of variables allows them the ability to achieve what they wanted, which is no ship, no weapon, no component is going to be meta and you'll have to get even more granular and figure out how you're going to fight and all of this is going to be evaluated constantly. Passing out due to g-forces is back in a big way and this means you can't just pull max g all the time. They're going to further specialize granularity into the weapons to have anti-missile types, anti-fighter, etc. But all of this is in the future. Shields are balanced neutral and moving into 315, they're going to start by introducing the shield characteristics, once again, forcing player choices. The power triangle is our ability to choose what is more important at that exact time. Micromanaging power and capacitors, plus the choices of gear based on the mission type, blah, 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 blah. This is going to mean that not only are you tracking threats, but possibly constantly pushing buttons to micro the ship. That sounds like either super great gameplay or super effing frustrating to do all the time, so I guess we'll need to wait and see. Ship flight balance is also not being left untouched. 314 was tuned flat and similar, and now in 315, they're adding back that granularity. They're going to continue to tune until it's in a good state. They spoke about IFCS trimming, which focuses on features for dual stick users. Trimming is just like in a chopper, when you can hold a stick in a particular place, push trim, and then release the stick while keeping the position until a new input is done. Auto Gimbal is getting a fix for 315, but they're still not satisfied. Staggered Fire is getting a revamp for 316. Turrets are critical for multiplayer ships as part of its defensive and offensive envelope. They're carefully managing balance to ensure that they don't just meta, because that's what they said at the beginning. Long-term plans haven't been started, but the current thinking is this. High and low speed combat speeds are going to be balanced even further. They're going to change up ballistic ammo loading to have a massive effect on what and when you choose what type of gun. They're going to think about adding a flak ammo. They want to teach AI to fly properly and they want to teach AI to fly and present a threat without just making that ship OP. They ended by saying that we the community and our proposals are the most important part. So get out there and give them feedback. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed your Remembrance Day. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.